I'm really, can I just say, I'm really sorry, I've, my chair is farting. Because <laughs> when I, you... I thought you were suffering from shooty ass. you went like no. this. <laughs> Shooty ass. I've never had shooty ass. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, Mel C's had shooty ass! <laughs> if you've never had shooty ass at home, basically what is is a, a shooting pain in the ass. It feels like you've sat on a stiletto. <laughs> <laughs> and you, it can happen whenever. It's just good to be there. You go like this, you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you don't tell anyone. Because <laughs> it might be right bad. Okay, guys, how's it going? So I got a new book for my. Ian Banks collection. See if I can show you this. Uh... Jesus, there we go. So I've still got some paperbacks over this end. Some of these I've got in hardback, but there's, these ones are signed, so I've kept them. Um, there's some more up there. But yeah, I got this one, Walking on Glass. Walking on Glass. Annoyingly... It arrived without a uh, dust cover, so I've emailed about that to see what the hell's going on. But I've got... Where's Walking on Glass? There. It's his second book, so this is like the second... Well, yeah, the second earliest of his books. Uh, the first one is Wasp Factory. I don't know if you can see this. But yeah, I'm getting really close. I've tried to find all of these just in charity shops and stuff, and... Uh, these earlier ones now are just getting too difficult. Um, and unfortunately, he died two years ago, three years ago. So people have started putting money on these. I don't really think that they're worth a lot. Maybe the only one would be Wasp Factory. Um, that would be worth a lot. Because never, he's never had movies or there's been a few TV shows. But apart from that, nothing really. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show these off a little bit. They look really cool all together as well. I need to put them in order that they were published. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show I got this. I'm working on a hardback, proper hardback of Wasp Factory. I've got a reprint there. Um, but yeah, a little bit annoyed about the dust cover, but it's still cool to have such an early copy. Um, we'll see what else is going on. Okay, people. Bad news on two fronts. First... Our turnip shipment arrived 25 minutes late. So consequently, there will be no turnips for lunch. <laughs> Second. Okay, so vegetable oil, lime cordial, they look really similar. Guess what? I just roasted the uh, pork shoulder in. Okay, guys. This is some real exciting stuff here. Oh, Jesus. Right. I was just in my... My, my beer shop across the road, Palomine owns, and they had these in boxes just lying all around the floor. There was a, it was just Lucky Dip beer, and they were a pound. So I'm assuming that the dates on them are are going out, which is fine because I mean I'm going to drink them tonight. But I got five different ones. This one's got wrapped up in what looks like old Bruins comic books. I think it's all magazines, so it feels too tough. Uh, the paper feels too nice to be old comics. But yeah, I got five. So four cans. These are like big cans. So obviously I'm going to get those ones over the smaller cans. And then I got a bottle. So uh, let's go. Let's go see what we got. This was a lot of effort somebody's gone to, to do the whole lucky dip scenario. Surely beer for a pound is enough. If anyone... It's not poison, we're good. Okay, this is maybe going to take ages, isn't it? I'm seeing triple IPA already, so that means this is going to have high alcohol content. <laughs> the unhuman cannonball. Looks like plankton. Triple IPA. Fuck me, that's 11%. Okay. Let's go. Don't shake up, don't fizz everywhere. Oh, fuck. That's bitter. We'll open the other big one. It's 
so Jane's gone off to her pal's house. And uh, I'm all alone tonight. Well, Holly's here, but she ignores me. Anyway, since I took a picture down off the wall, here's another one just called the Human Cannonball. Uh, it's a double IPA. This one's only 9.2%. Oh, God, I'm not going to remember any of this tomorrow. Uh, and they have to be drunk because they're short-dated, aren't they? This is great. I might do this. I'm, I'm going to go back over and buy more. Tap the vein while the going's good. Uh, fucking hell. This one's called Last Minute Spice Porter, 7.1%. What the fuck is going on? Nobody buys strong beer, apparently. This is... Oh, I might wet myself tonight. Fucking hell. It's another one. Right, so there's just a bottle left, and I'm worried. Frankly worried. All of these beers have been, have been what you would call... Uh, malt liquor, malt liquor, because it's over, is it over 6% and it becomes malt liquor? Holy shit. Here we go. Luponic Distortion Firestone. And this one is... It doesn't say, which is worrying in itself. Oh, this one's only 5.9. This is the baby of the bunch. Anyway, beer. I've got some comics to show you, but we'll add a clip in here to make it seem like I'm doing that bit later when I'm actually just going to do it right now. There she is. Oh, sweet lady. With your face like a cream oval. And your nose like a delicious slope of cream. Your ears like cream flaps. And your teeth like hard shiny pegs of cream do you mind hmm? doing a poem mrs gideon okay so we got some books um <laughs> cheers under winter by ray fox this is a uh, field of feathers part three so this is volume two part three He's got three planned, I think, three volumes of five, so that'll be cool. This is, it's mental. I'd, I'd definitely check it out if you're into comic books, which you are, because I'm pissed already. <laughs> had two sips. Uh, Batman 972, I've not read this yet. Zombie Tramp 42. So I was speaking to Rig about the whole death of zombie tramp thing and um i'm gonna i've instagrammed dan mendoza because i don't use twitter or anything i've instagrammed him to see what he's saying about it so hopefully we get a reply from him just to let us know uh batman 39 this kind of reminded me of a um a doctor who episode and now i can't remember what the doctor who episode's called it was one of capaldi's episodes when he gets trapped in his own uh, yeah anyway he gets trapped in his own time a uh, separate time frame and he's there for billions of years and that's what this reminded me of except it's not billions of years and finally Stray Bullets 31 Sunshine and Roses if you're not buying this please go and buy the Uber Alice and just get caught up with that because it's, it's ace it's so cool so cool um and yeah please please just go check it out and sign up to his mail mailing mail uh what would you call it mailing list i'll give you the email here right there el capitana aol and they send um like newsletters and stuff it's cool and i've emailed him like asking questions and stuff on there and he's replied so they're uh they're managing that account they're they're active on there so it's really cool but anyway that's all the books and the beer and uh 
I'm home alone, so the strippers will be coming around any second. I'm not home alone. Just don't tell Holly the strippers are coming around. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you. Take it easy. Okay, I got a reply from uh, Dan Mendoza, so I'll just add the photo of the reply. He doesn't really say much, doesn't really tell us much, but I'll just, I'll just put a picture of it right here. Take it easy, and I'll see you next week.